Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laughing Boy here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Bambuska. Now, um, <laughs> this thing is quite huge and um, actually pretty expensive. So, um, I'm going to show you the options that are available to it, and I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of a shakedown. Now, this thing is about the same size as the airliners you'll see at the airport, which is where I'm at right now. <laughs> but um, I think it's almost exactly the same length and width. But this thing is um, really expensive. It is $4,450,000 if you have completed 24 air freight steel missions. Otherwise, it's $5,918,500 for those of us who haven't uh, done all of those. Now, I'm going to go and uh, show you all the different modifications to it. But there's not much that's um, unique to this airplane. Uh, basically, it's the liveries that are unique to this airplane. Um, but I am going to go ahead and show all of these to you. Um, and I'm going to give you a demonstration at the end. I'm going to show you. Um, well, I'm going to. I'm going to demonstrate its takeoff, its ability. You know, its uh, handling ability, and um, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how um, difficult it is to take it out of the air. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Well, like I said, this thing is this thing is is huge. It is the same size as those air those airliners out there, and it does hold up to six people. And um, I haven't actually gotten all six people into the airplanes. I'm not sure who handles what gun, but uh, I, I did notice that. Um, of course, I mean, I, I, mine is set to where the pilot handles the, uh, the the bombs and the countermeasures. And yes, we do have the the flying shark. <laughs> now I'm going to go through here. I'm going to uh, pick. I'm going to go ahead and get the eagle wings. And now we're now I'm going to. Um, do the only other visual upgrade which is paint it and uh, I'm going to paint it chrome it does make a difference it makes it uh, difficult it makes it harder to see especially at night and that does um, of course when you couple that with the countermeasures it makes it difficult to hit this thing especially again at night now um, this thing does have uh, the uh, jet assist to take off. And we do have upgrades for the uh, for the bombs. Uh, we have upgrades for the forward gun and the tail gun, which is you know actually sticking out of the tail. And there's a, as you can see, there's a uh, there's a bubble gun up there. Now uh, the top turret. <laughs> And again, I, I'm not exactly sure um, what you know who operates uh, which guns. I know that the pilot, when not bombing, can operate. Uh, I'm assuming it's the forward gun. I didn't really see what it was. To, uh, you know, I didn't really see it hitting anything. But again, this thing is monstrous. I didn't even really see the, I didn't notice the reticle, but uh, I will, uh, you'll see that here in a, in a minute. Now I'm going to give you the first person walk around, but um, it's quite a long walk around <laughs> because, again, this thing is huge. There's our little nose gun, well actually it's kind of a big nose gun in our um, bubble turret. The tail gun, as, uh, like I said, is actually sticking out of the 
tail of the plane. It's the <laughs> rearmost thing on the plane. So, um, well, at least the tail itself is not getting in the way, but <laughs> that's a completely different plane. I am going to demonstrate both takeoffs, the, the jet assisted takeoff and the um, normal takeoff once I get in the plane, but I am going to show you the uh, a little bit of the interior here in first person. Can't really see much from up here, but uh, now we're going to go into third person and uh, I'm going to show you the jet assist to take off. Again, this thing will hold six people and um, I'm sure that most of them are going to be operating various guns. That is the jet assisted takeoff. And here is the non jet assisted takeoff. And it still doesn't take up much space on the runway. Well, <laughs> it's still huge, but uh, it takes off rather quickly. Now, do bear in mind that this plane is completely upgraded, including the race handling and the um, engine mods. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, the countermeasures. Now you notice my landing gear is still down. You'll notice it by those two flaps on either side of the body. And I just raised it and I will lower it again just to show you. And uh, it does make a big difference in, um, well it makes a bigger difference in smaller planes, but it makes a difference in the speed. Now, even with the race handling, this thing does handle like a bus. <laughs> well, assuming that, you know, that all buses <laughs> handle really sluggishly. Now, this is the bomb camera. I see no evidence of the bombs actually hitting the ground. But I'm going to turn it and go over here near the highway and try to go along the highway and try to hit some vehicles. These are the cluster bombs, so they should actually have a little bit of an area to them. With the cluster bombs, they're supposed to have uh, little smaller bombs that spread out and go off and do extra damage. That actually hit the ground. I'm still not affecting the traffic. <laughs> And I am now out of bombs. <laughs> now at this point I'm closing the bomb bay doors and now I'm going to try and fire one of the guns. Now I, I don't see a reticle and I, I'm, I feel the controller vibrating but I don't have any idea if I'm firing a gun and if I am, which one is firing because, well, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the muzzle flash. I don't see it. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how difficult this thing is to take out of the air. Well, at least with the heavy sniper rifle. Now, with the heavy sniper rifle having the explosive tips, it usually takes two rounds to take a plane down. This one, however, still only takes three. That's kind of a disappointment. 
being a huge plane, it's, uh, you know, with, you know, fully upgraded, it takes two rounds to take a Hydra down. It only takes three to take that down. So, um, as for whether or not to buy this plane, uh, kind of leave that up to you, but I really don't see any point in it. Uh, it's huge, and it can take, you know, it can take six players, but somebody with a heavy sniper with the explosive rounds will get uh, six kills with three bullets. <laughs> anyway, um, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Laughing boy out.